that we've got a Facebook group, and he was like, what? What the hell? Oh my god, I got... He didn't know about it, you know? About Berlin, Berlin Melee. So, anyone in Berlin or the surrounding area, and you want to get into Smash, go to Berlin Melee on Facebook. Everyone's there, everyone's nice. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, there's players all around the Berlin area, and I'm sure you can find someone, either your level or in your region. And even if you're not at people's level, it's not it's not a big deal. The Smash community is very uh, very friendly and open-minded, and, and we try to take care of new players. So don't be intimidated. Show up either to the Meltdown or to some of the casuals at someone's house. Like We, uh, we love new players, and uh, the community is still growing. For It's pretty incredible for this older game. Yeah. And the, com the community is growing all the time. Yeah. It's way bigger now than when I moved here in October. And yeah, we got like 30 uh, attendants today. Yeah, that's for a local record. with no money on the line. Yeah, that's that's awesome, man. That's incredible. Yeah. So we've seen Just Akuma taking the first stock. Uh, Just Akuma is always like somebody you gotta, you, you know, of course you gotta wreck it. Yeah, because uh, he, he generally knows what he does, and he, he watched videos and stuff, but he never actually practiced and stuff. And he told me that he, he feels like he, he would be much better if he would like practice stuff, because he, he always knows what, what he wants to do. Yeah. But he's like so limited by his, by his you know, so technical, experience. technical yeah. Uh, experience, yeah, and, and experience as well, like playing uh, much more, because he, he plays for like half a year now. I like that he's using these up smashes because you see, uh, unloved creature doesn't di properly, yeah. and that's uh, that's uh, an experience thing as well. But just Akuma is always doing the right things, so, like that dropping fair. Yeah. That's that's perfectly the perfect option with Sheik, and and every time he gets a dash attack, that unloved creature doesn't crouch cancel, and he doesn't di it, and he gets a free up smash every time. Yeah. And Sheik's up smash, if you get it. Take it because it's awesome. Yeah, it, it's like so good knock up for like follow, uh, you know, connecting combos. Yeah, and it's good damage. And if they crouch cancel, you get two hits. Like, yeah, it's just the, the perfect up smash unless you're Fox. <laughs> yeah. Fox or Pikachu is probably better up yeah, smashes, but yeah. but it's a really good combo up smash. And and the problem is most most players uh, can di away from it and. You can't just yeah. approach with it, but when you meet people who don't DI properly, like we see here with the Ganondorf, like you, you see him taking straight up. Oh my oh, god, the drop fair yeah. there to take the first match. Just as it is in NPSC. Uh, in fact, the chain grab kind of works out the other way in PAL, uh, where Ganondorf can actually chain grab that Sheik for longer, but other than that, uh, it's all Sheik. Oh, we, like Roy's over there. <laughs> And that the Gandorf really needs to have all his fundamentals in order to win this matchup, and it's pretty clear that um, Unloved Creature has some uh, some serious holes in his fundamentals, yeah. and he needs to get those worked out if he uh, wants to beat a Sheik. You can't you can't have sloppy DI against the Sheik if you want to win this matchup. You have to be really really solid. Get back here, there, just to put him back off. Well, you see, like there. just like who is like. Outplaying him so hard. Yeah. For a player that like not experienced at all, you know, played like three tournaments in his life, he's looking so solid against Unlock Creature there. I like how he was trying to go for the ice whip there, but yeah. his pacing was off, so yeah. he couldn't do anything with it. But I like the idea, just trolling him a bit. He knows he's better. He knows he's probably gonna win this. Yeah. But. I hope he doesn't sandbag too much, because uh, so a Gandorf can, uh, can punish you pretty hard, bad DI or not. But then again, uh, just a cool, uh, like a, a true competitor, you know? <laughs> he knows when to, when to rely on his, his uh, skill to win the match, actually, and when to throw. Yeah. So I don't think he will be throwing too hard if it's like looking close or something like that. Yeah. Oh my god! You see there, the, the lack of DI will get you comboed to hell. Yeah. He ate just like 5 F tilts to a dash attack that he didn't DI either. Yeah. Luckily for him, the, um, just Akuma didn't follow up on that dash attack like he has the rest or the last match, but still, even there, he could have gotten a free fare. But yeah, yeah. he's normally not a, a smat or a melee player, he's, he's been a Street Fighter player. But uh, he's getting into melee, and you can see that some of the skills are kind of bring over it. Some of yeah. the times he's really clutching it up. That F smash kind of questionable. I don't know if you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's a technical flub or if it was actually doing it. Like, I can suddenly, like, F smash eight times in a match, but I didn't mean to do a single one. Yeah. Like, mistimed uh, F tilt, mistimed dash attack. So, like, yeah, but I think Sasakuma really wants to use the F smash because he thinks, like, you know, it's a smash attack and which, which should smash the enemy away. He, he, like, doesn't know that it doesn't work like most of the other F smash. Yeah. So he, he just uses it, like, uh, out, of, out of habit, I think. Yeah. Of course, he knows smash, and he knows like the, the fundamentals of smash. Not not competitive smash, but like casual smash. Yeah. And so he thinks that the forward smash should smash you away, you know, like in, in the forward direction. Nice turnaround, mega real there. I wonder why he didn't went for the forward aerial, which would have actually get it Nice double forward up aerial there. Double with good connection with forward aerial. Because um, I'm a creature landed in time. There he goes. This is this is pretty free for just Akuma. It's it's clear he's it, it's not a close match. These are two closely skilled players. Just Akuma is definitely the better player, and I would be very shocked if uh, if this doesn't end in a three stock. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a, another thing where you actually can't like properly the the. Uh, uh, up smash from Sheik is like if she uses it for tech chasing, like predicting. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you, you could use the up smash like in, in other cases or in other instances, but for tech chasing it's like really good. Yeah. And it, it looks so awesome, you know? Yeah. Alright, Dynasty. Just Akuma 